Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you how to model this vase in SOLIDWORKS. This technique that I will be using to create this vase can be applied to create all sorts of appliances. Maybe you want to create a gun for your online 3D game. So you could use this. This is a combination of SOLIDWORKS surface modeling on the surface and essential modeling in SOLIDWORKS. So you could combine these two techniques to create interesting models like this one. Let's begin. Hi, I'm Aryan and I teach engineers and creative minds like yourself to bring their ideas into reality using SOLIDWORKS. And I will teach it with a new method that enables you to bring what you can think of into reality, maybe printed 3D, put it on your desk, use it, all sorts of things. If this is something for you, subscribe to the channel right now. All right, guys. This is the tutorial that I'm going to be using. This is from my course. This is a glass vase. It's going to look like this. And I will be showing you how it looks like in SOLIDWORKS. At the end, we're going to get a product that looks something like this. So that's what I said. You could use it for different techniques. Let me just scroll the page down really quick. You could speed up or speed down the video if you want to do it on your own. I'm giving this one away for free. This is one of the hundred ones I have. So I leave it scroll down like this. Once you see that, I'm going to go away. I mean, I'm going to take the window away and start making the model on my own. So you, if you want to take advantage of this, do it right now. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to skip to the end of this scrolling, which is almost at the end, you could click, I mean, a little bit further on the timeline. We're almost done. We are at 90%. All right. So basically this is it. You saw the tutorial. Now it's time to take it away and do it from the top in SOLIDWORKS. Everything starts with a normal line on the front plane. I just selected the front plane, activated the sketch, and I'm gonna draw a line. I just used a mouse gesture to turn my mouse into a line, and over here I'm gonna turn it into a center line, that is for construction. If you don't have this pop-up menu, you can always go here and check it over there. It becomes a center line. Now, the height of this should be 150. By the way, the units that I'm working with uh, are MMGS millimeters, but you could always work with the units of your choice. doesn't matter. So we go down and we draw two more lines, this time horizontal. Both of them are for construction. The lower one should be at 35. The upper one should be at 50. And then we pick three point arc, select the first point, the second point on this, and the third point somewhere in the middle. And we're gonna set the radius of that arc point to 200 millimeters. Once it's done, we're gonna turn our mouse with mouse gesture into line again and draw three more lines. That was the first, this is the second, and this is the third, okay? The height of the third one is 20 millimeters. The length of the first one is five and this 35 remains. Now we will pick spline. Slowly you will learn how to work with spline as well. First point, second point, press escape on your keyboard to get rid of the active mode of spline. Now it looks fully defined, but we still able to change the spline. As always, we're going to drag this arrow as well as this one. So they stay shown all the time, turn the mouse into smart dimension, select the arrow, select this horizontal line and set the angle, set the angle. Wow, took me a while, 100 degrees and this one to this one at a 90 degrees angle. We also need to select these arrows one more time to set their value. This one is 200 and the lower one is 100. Now it's ready to be revolved. We're going to revolve this, going to the features tab, revolve it around this line and click OK. 
So this is the base model that we have our base vase. Then again, we're gonna pick front plane. I'm gonna start on front plane. Draw a center line from the midpoint of the upper edge to the midpoint of the lower edge, which happens to have the origin point on it. Then we're gonna pick three point arcs, place one point on the center point and one on the edge and one random point here. We're gonna do that two more times. Look, this time random point on the center line, random point on the edge, don't select the midpoint, random point, and then random point in the middle. Once again, random point, random point, random point, okay? At this point, we're not working with random points anymore, and we're gonna select the starting point of the second arc because it's still flexible and set it at 100. It was, wow, I'm good. And the third one is 125, 130, almost. This one you cannot change because it's on the center point. The value should be at 75 and it's not editable. As you can see, it's fully defined. The right points, this one should be at a 10. This one against this lower edge at 50. And this one against this lower edge at 90. Now we're gonna select all these three lines Go here and click on equal. We are applying or assigning uh, a sketch relation called equal. So whenever I assign a radius to one of these, 200, all the other will adjust. Now, select the three curves as well as the center line. Now we go to the sketch tab, select on mirror entities to just quickly mirror these three entities. Now, before I continue, let me give you a bonus tip. Control Z back. If I wanted to do this the other way around, it would have taken me longer. So that was a tip that you can use to speed up your process. If you click on mirror entities first, then go pick one, two, three, then go here, select the mirror about, then pick this one and then go click, you get the same result. But again, Control Z, Selecting all, click on mirror entities, done. Okay, select what you want to mirror as well as the mirror line, then click on mirror entities, then 90% of times you get the result that you want. So we want to work with the sketch fillet at this point, set it at 20, pick the first two lines, yes, okay. Now set it at 15. How do I press OK? Using right click on my mouse. So yes, look at the symbol next to my mouse cursor. Right click is a yes. And 10 for the last one. Did that, yes, and okay. So we have this, we can go and rebuild our sketch. This is what we get. Next, we wanna go to split line, which I covered in the previous video or the video before that. Uh, you could go to my channel, search for split line if you don't know how to work with it or how to bring it onto your menu, set it to projection, uh, select your sketch, select the outer wall of your vase and click OK. This is what you get, okay? At this point, it's the matter of taste. We go to the surface tab, we pick offset surface. We offset the first one for a value of six, click OK. Offset the second one for the value of four, click OK and offset this one for the value of two. Again, click OK. Now we go to thicken because these are surfaces. Look, with zero thickness, we wanna add thickness to this part and connect them all together. So this one was at six. Make sure you're not offsetting it on the outside, but on the inside, click OK. Next one, offset it at uh, four, click OK. If it didn't work, doesn't matter. Uncheck merge result, click OK. We will take care of it in the next step. And this one at two, does it work? Didn't, doesn't matter. We uncheck merge result and leave it at that. And this is what we get with three solid bodies that now we can go to the features tab, use combine to combine them into one solid body. Easy peasy. From this point on, everything you do is a matter of garnishing. You could come here and fill at all these edges with any value that you want maybe one and leave it at that. So this is the concept of creating a geometry like this. 
if you want to create or become more creative you could just mirror this and see what it gives you look this was a vase but it can also be used for a lot of other artistic stuff the main concept of this video was to make sure that uh, you know how to create geometries that are overlapping on top of each other 3d okay let's cut to the outro all right guys the vase that we just did together was from a step-by-step -step tutorial on my course so i have over 100 of these tutorials with images and descriptions or videos and descriptions on the website that costs about we don't sell it separately alone but it was about 130 dollars a year subscription based but it's available to my members for free if you don't know what membership i'm talking about you should go in the description below this video click on the link and go check out my website because i do have a flagship product that teaches solidworks it's an a to z great product five star rating on trustpilot you can go check it out luckily enough as i'm recording this video we are within the cyber monday deal so if this is new to you you should jump on this chance right now because this is the cheapest we can go if you're watching this video in later in future next week the cyber monday deal will be gone but still product remains all right don't forget to subscribe i'll see you soon